3 John chapter 1 verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Prosperity is the will of God for his children, the redeemed. And the scriptures are clear about it. From the scripture we have read above the Bible says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. And in Job chapter 36 verse 11, the Bible says, If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity, and their years in pleasures. And in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, God says to Joshua, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Evidently from all of the foregoing, it is clear that God wants us to prosper, and that prosperity is a reward from God for service and obedience. Thus, anybody that believes or thinks that prosperity is not the will of God for his children, may be doing so in error. God's wish and will for his children is prosperity and quality of life. That is why Christ Jesus says in St. John chapter 10 verse 10, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Here Jesus defines one of his missions for coming into the world as the restoration of dignity and quality of life for man. He says, I come that they may have life and have it in abundance. That speaks of a quality life. And the quality of life cannot be possible without prosperity. Prosperity can be financial, health, spiritual, etc. But whichever, it is necessary for quality life. For instance, it takes money to live and maintain a quality living. And money is a kind of prosperity, which is financial prosperity. Now does the devil care less about believers prosperity? Of course not. The devil is and will always be opposed to anything that will make God happy with his creation. Particularly his human creation. Incidentally, believers prosperity happens to be one of the things that God is delighted in. Or that gives God pleasure. In Psalms 35 verse 27, the Bible says, Let them shout for joy, and be glad, that favor my righteous cause, yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Here the scripture makes it clear, that God has pleasure or that God is pleased and delighted when his children prospers, and because the devil is always opposed to the prosperity of God's people, as we pray now, every devilish and demonic opposition, to the prosperity of God's people shall be routed and destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, prosperity is your will for your children. Therefore, dear Lord, I pray for your children, whom the devil is opposed to your will for them which is all around prosperity. Father in the name of Jesus, any of my listeners, who the devil has caged and denied access to the kingdom's wealth and prosperity, I decree and pronounce them delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rout out every financial, health, and spiritual challenge. In the name of Jesus, I set free as many that are under demonic orchestrated and financial difficulty. In the name of Jesus, for your word says dear Lord in Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Therefore Father Lord, in the of Jesus, I decree and declare reversal, every form of financial misfortunes, difficulty, and delays, in the life of every listener. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare restoration unto them. In the name of Jesus, let all their possession that the devil who cometh not but to steal, kill and destroy have stolen from them, be restored. In the name of Jesus, for their delays, Lord give them double. Double blessing, double promotion, double of all that they desire. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be unto them from now henceforth, as you have promised in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee, and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, 
and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face, they shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee in holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee as good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. Father rebuke every devil or demon devouring their resources and what belongs to them. Give them the discipline and the prudence they need to manage their resources judiciously. Teach them the way to make wealth, as you promised in Deuteronomy 8 verse 18. Saying, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he soiree unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Father, fulfill your promises unto them in accordance with your covenant with Abraham, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let lack and want that come to abrupt and perpetual end, in their lives and families. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be unto them according to your word of Psalms 34 verse 10. The young lions do lack, and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. May they never lack in any good things from today. In the name of Jesus. Let your blessings that makes rich without sorrows be their portion from today. In the name of Jesus. Go before them dear Lord, after the order of your word of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 1. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of kings, to open before him the two-leaved gates, and the gates shall not be shut. Verse 2. Of the same Isaiah 45. I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Isaiah 3. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Lord go before them from today, destroying every hindrance to their financial breakthroughs and emaciation. Give them the treasures of darkness and riches of hidden places. In the name of Jesus Christ, Open to them the gates and doors of financial opportunities, and may their gates and doors of financial opportunities never close. In the name of Jesus. Cause them to be so blessed like Isaac until they become the envy of their neighbors, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you dear Father Lord for we know you have answered us. In Jesus mighty name I pray. Amen. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Are you new here, subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.